Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest video on my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Now, uh, I do work as uh, full-time as an independent IT field engineer, uh, and now uh, uh, officially as, a, as an amateur videographer, as it is that I'm, you know, building up my YouTube channel. And uh, one of the things I've learned to do recently is, is, is to create thumbnails. I had gotten bad information <laughs> as to how to do that. And so the thumbnails I've used on many of my videos are, are just atrocious. But I did finally learn how to do it. And uh, the video I watched, which was very helpful and instructive, I'll link it in, in the description below. Uh, had a, uh, a very nice person demonstrating uh, creating these uh, uh, thumbnails using a, an app on the iPhone called uh, Fonto, like phone and then T-O, uh, no E, Fonto. And um, I liked it. Uh, it. It worked just like she said. Um, the only caveat for me is I don't like typing text with my thumbs, and I really haven't enjoyed that since I had a, a Blackberry, and that was quite a long time ago. Uh, and so the, I wanted to know. Well, let me let me just install it in the in the App Store on my Mac Mini, and I'll run it that way. Well, as it turns out, it just wasn't available, and that got me into a new feature uh, of the Mac Mini. Uh, M1 with the silicone, and that is uh, because of the fact it's got the same architecture now as the current iPhones, it makes it so that the applications are actually binary compatible. Now, there might be issues with screen size um, and, and other things because the phone, the architecture inside an iPhone is still very different from what's inside of the Mac Mini. Obviously, you can see that in their sizes and all that. But at the core level, they run the same programs they can. And so I'll walk you through how to run an iPhone-only or iPad-only app on your Mac Mini M1 for those occasions when that might be useful for you. And uh, certainly it was for me in this case. So let's get right into it, and hopefully you'll, you'll get benefit from this. Okay, so you see me go into the uh, App Store for the Mac, and uh, I'm going to do a search on the Fonto app. I uh, type that in, and you can see here in, in the results that it's nowhere to be seen, right? Um, but there you also see to the right of where it says Mac apps, iPhone and iPad apps, and when you click there, voila, it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get and um, and then install and uh, I'll use my uh, biometric off my uh, Magic 2 keyboard and uh, the app is, is there. So now I'm going to go ahead and open it and uh, and then it's uh, you see it appear on the uh, launch pad, and there it is. It's it's up and running. I'll click on the uh, plus symbol at the bottom right, and then go to edit photo. Okay. I go ahead and pick a, a goofy photo. <laughs> it's for the purpose of illustrating an example. Um, Okay, uh, so now um, I'm going to go to settings because in this case uh, there was uh, touch alternatives that I had to enable. Um, now I'm going straight to it in my video, but I did meander quite a bit until I found this. Okay, um, and that is what will allow me to add text on the Mac OS side. Uh, and now I got the, the text window here, and I'll just start typing in the text I want to add. And there's all kinds of options for uh, changing the font, co the font color, the font size, uh, even adding nice little uh, 
uh, um, animation on the photo but I'm just keeping it simple here for the purpose of using this so I put in using Fonto and I move that text around um, now you can add text to a photo in on the iPhone but it is kind of cumbersome by comparison this is so much easier okay and uh, so I'll keep at it adding a little bit more um, uh, let's see there uh, I, I didn't need to go ahead text to add more uh, text to the um, uh, to the image And uh, now I'll add the last little bit here, just again for the purpose of an example. Uh, okay. And I'll try to do a little bit of lining it, lining things up, uh, pretty up the image. And at this point now, I should be ready to go ahead and save this. Um, okay, so I'm gonna click on the share uh, icon and I'm gonna go ahead and just go to save there at the bottom or towards the bottom. And uh, I'll go with photo, but you can rename it. I wanna place it on the desktop just to make it easily accessible for the purpose of this video. Uh, you see that icon on the top right. And I double click it and and you see it there now uh, fairly straightforward uh, Apple certainly does have total ownage on the word productivity as you just saw how wonderful it is that uh, we're not necessarily confined uh, to running apps on either the iPhone or iPad OS or the uh, um, uh, the Mac OS. Um, now, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, give me uh, that uh, all important subscription, and I will counter subscribe to you as well. And if anyone else finds a nice, cool app that's iPad or i or iPhone only, and they're able to now run that using this same uh, method on their uh, on the Mac OS side. Please post a comment on that, as I really would like to know more. Uh, I know that many of the apps in both stores are 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 the same, but not all, as you just saw. And, uh, and maybe that's where Apple eventually will go and have one common store for all platforms, but. For now, if you find something, please let me know. And um, okay, and until we see each other again, hello.